Hello everyone, it's Peter here with Yacht Fistner. Guys, so today is Thursday, 22nd of September 2022 of today recording. You can see how many videos it's way back. Uh, it's a lot of videos <laughs> done and I've got a lot of jobs. So let's crack on with this one. I'll switch to the DSLR. I've changed the location. So now it's in front of me here. Uh, now what we have is one hard drive is plugged in. I need to make a backup from this drive, from this drive, and there is one more drive from this customer. All has to go to that uh, to that drive, yes. Now I found a problem with this one. This does have a power coming in. We can see that here is a voltage in the meter. Okay. So I did check that and I've seen 12 volts coming in. Wow, we were. We got 12 volts. Okay. So no argument. This gives the power to this. So now the way they are working, they usually don't have power button. Yes, they don't have something like a power button. But usually they are given the power when you plug it in this cable. So when this cable is damaged, you can guess that there is no physical um, yes, there is no physical connection now. So if I will plug it in, it won't light up here. It will be still dark as is just right now. Okay, so you see nothing. It's just dead. So either the power cable is, I mean, either the uh, signal cable is faulty or there is some issue with this drive, okay? Now, I never opened this one, but guess what? Oh, this one actually is trying to go apart in no time. I would expect some screws underneath these here to be true. And yet, We've got a surprise. Let's disconnect everything. And let's see what we can get underneath this one. There's no screw probably here. Mm. It's really stiff. Okay, okay, go in. Do we have any luck, any success? No. Physically, there's no screw underneath. So that's not the way to go, guys. There's no screw here. I don't know if one of them would have a screw, but I see that this is falling apart something or someone had a impact on it or this is how it's built and this has a connector to here and that's the regular connector like you've got in the hard drive and that just the adapter from this to this so if we want to make sure that this one is working fine we need to take a drive just a regular drive okay that we can plug in before before plugging in anything let's get the drive I know this drive is working because I had it on today okay now let's get the power Silence is golden, yes, nothing. But this one does work when I plugged in the cable. I don't know if you will be able to hear it. But it does spin. Okay, it, it doesn't read on the screen anything. I don't see that it's, it's plugged in. But guess what? I can see that. 
Okay, so I can see that. So we can switch it off. So we know that this adapter is working. Yes, we know it's it's working, it's fine. Let's take it to the side. And as we know this one is working, the question is why this one doesn't want to work. Because if that one is rec recognizable, this one should be as well. So that means everything is okay with this enclosure. There is only a problem with that particular drive. Let's plug it in. And it's silent. And it's silent. So guys, in this case, we need to take it apart. We need to take it apart and we need to see, verify what's causing that issue that this drive is dead. Because we know that the enclosure is not a culprit. Okay, because this part and the, the rest is working fine. So let's put this one back. Let's put this one aside. Okay, do not mix anything. And let's focus on opening of this one. If I can figure it out how to do it, of course. Hmm. That's quite interesting how it's made. I would say there will be some either screw or some clip. Okay, this one wanna go out. Here is a hmm. You know what? I'm tempted to go on Google and just search how to open this particular drive. And I'm tem tempted to the level that I will do it. So let's put, what's the model? Seagate product number. Okay, but do we have a model? We don't. Oh yeah, we do. do. Sierra Papa. Sierra Romeo Delta, okay, Sierra Romeo Delta, Sierra Romeo Delta, zero Sierra Delta, zero, disassembly. And let's see if we will see how to open Seagate backup drive. Okay, let's let's try and what YouTube will show us how to remove the drive from a CD backup plus drive. Okay. Right, so this okay, guy is talking, of course, so first five minutes drive. need to at, talk. At the top. Okay, then he's, he's showing something right so now that he's got this. In there. Okay. Just to get and it then started. he put See something yeah. like I did. And then just okay. work that in. You something like I did. Run it down the side. And he just followed that. And then it this. The other side. So I was on the right track. Only I didn't want to break something. Sorry. That's why I didn't want to. You know, if we can have a confirmation. Then we get to the bottom. Do the same thing. The bottom's a little easier. Okay, so and he followed this line until he reached to here. Let's pause the video and let's try because we see some clips on the side already going out. Okay, you might not see these clips. Let me try. I can say that this guy make it, uh, you know, like looking really easy, whereas it doesn't go that easy. So watch out if you will be doing it to not damage something, because that would be a shame. Okay, I don't know why that this doesn't want to go farther. So let's get second frame full. 
Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, where is my, where is my home container of all tools here? Okay, let's look for something which is a sprite tool. Oh, there is, there is one. has to click look now this side still don't want to go okay this this one clip here was so stubborn that I think it died we will have to glue it if we will put it back together I'll need to ask customer if he wants it but there is an issue with accessing the, this thing, so we have no other choice just to press it. The rest is going fine, only that fella has fell apart. Okay, now the question is, what can we do at the corner? Can we do any better here? Okay, you see, it went off. So you see, that's how I'm doing things if I don't understand things, how they are working. I just go to Google, you can see disk inside. Okay, and now what this guy will do next. So we had a one clip which failed, which is okay because it's just one clip. This clip is here. Okay, that's the only clip. No, two clips are missing. What I do is start but on the front. The rest is fine. Four tabs here. Four, but uh, who would you know? Who would pay us to do it the way that it wouldn't do, damage anything? You know, customer the wants drive. the data. We'll customer kind of don't guide, want you know anything else. Just orient the, okay. The at the bottom I can see that he's pointing out to this location, right, but but he's still chat. The the so comes so he's pointing what I'm do to this. Already. Open here. On one side, and I can show you where to use Not, the tarpids. Okay, so you get a pry tool. You get a different one. You get a triangular one, which I use uh, for mobile. I'm gonna place it upside down, actually. Pretty much. And what uh, he does is first one here. He's trying just line to line it up right with that one slot. Where these ones are. You see, you just stick it in there, and I you can hear the okay. pop. Okay, you've got like a guitar pick. Now. He's trying, but I don't know if that's both sides or one side. That, that's the problem. Okay, he got some holes, and the holes are on both sides. Okay, holes are on both sides. Okay, so it is going. Now this video has 11 minutes and guy probably knows what he's doing. Our video has with explanation 13 minutes already and I still don't know how to open it. Well, I know partially how to open it. Hmm. Here is a bit stubborn. Continue on this side. Okay, you see, so that's 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 how it's look like here have clips, I don't know if you can see them, you just press and the, these are going off, press and these are going off, okay, you 
you can get a help from second pry tool if you want if you would like oh there's a sticker here oh there's a snake in my boot okay so we've got this done up to here okay I'm feeling like with Xbox my first time Xbox one I mean okay so we've got the Seagate back out I mean Seagate out a lot of plastic which we could <laughs> glue back together if we would care or customer would care we can glue it back together okay now it's in the metal chassis let's switch off the light so you can see it better okay it's in the metal chassis now there is no screws here whatsoever it's just the metal maybe ah here are the screws okay so we need to take out these rubber mounts okay let's switch iso to the 3200 so it will be better and now we can use some screwdriver here on the side mm. okay it you need to use a, a lot of power to do it not the easiest job so now this drive looks faulty to me and this drive will require either a new board this board or fixing the board because that's what's causing no power in it okay so I'll need to speak with a customer if customer want to fix it uh, because that alone I need to either find the same board for the same model okay or I need to attempt a repair on this board and what can cause the uh, what can cause the problem because if I said to the customer that I can only recover data and we've spoken about recovery cost yes we didn't speak about the problem of uh, you know like putting back on so it can read and uh, if we don't have the if we plug in the power and we don't hear a spin that means there is a hardware issue with this drive because the other hard drive was fine okay so it's not a problem with with this i will pause this video it's 18 minutes i will pause it i will look for my second um, hard drive enclosure uh, with an external power supply i will prepare it here and we will try to use on that enclosure if that one will confirm if that one will act the same way it will confirm us that we get a problem with this hard drive so be right back if you can please like the video that's really helping this channel and I'm I'm super excited because one of the videos has 422 had 422 views after five days of release so my videos usually have up to 10 up to 50 or up to 100 some only a few have up to 150 or or 176 is I think the most but that video in particular have made 422 views I don't want to tell you which one it is because that you can maybe go and try to look at it and that will lie about the proper view uh, rates and i don't want to have any lies in my videos yes i want to have them organic growth that's it so be right back and thank you for those who did like uh, this video thank you guys okay so what i have here it's a bit dark i see uh what i have here Whoa! stuff is flying Anyway, anyways okay so I've got this type of enclosure which is okay which is like a universal because you've got SATA IDE 
different types for the small 2.5 even old one 3.5 you know and then you've got an adapter as well for power supply for those older ones so it's, it's a good stuff because I help myself with many things let's plug in the power let's switch it on and now we need to connect USB yes when we connect it will automatically try to start up this it recognized but there is no spin same story okay so if two of the enclosures are saying that there is some issue with this drive we can take it for granted that there is an issue with with this hard drive itself okay and that's not what i've that's not what i discussed with this customer we could check uh, just for our own you know like curiosity to kill the curiosity because i'm super curious what's what can cause that okay um, do we have something because it's not a security screw this one's too big okay this one's too big do we have a smaller one yes because that one which i took was security screw with a hole inside so we don't need we don't need a hole inside it I'm just curious if we can see something which can cause a death of this drive quickly or we need to make longer investigation we need to call it a day on this video but that's how you see how I'm dealing with these so that's how you can deal as well you need those enclosures to copy data because if you don't have them how you will you know how you will help yourself or a customer and that's the board okay so this board has a power here and we can check if that has any any problems okay on the side of this this side okay I'll get the meter for now at least. And I'll try to try to check a few things here. Okay, the light, so you will have to bright guys. Sorry for that. I I can try and switch it off and see if I can see something. Maybe, maybe without the light. I can still do it. I want to just check for shorts. Yes, if I can check any shorts, shorted capacitor or something like that, I could, you know, I could tell the customer that I found something automatically. So let's check if any of the pins is shorting of the this. No, this is a this is a power. So we need to check if any of the power. Okay, these are shorting. So these might be a ground. Can you find the ground here? Yes. Yes, okay, so these are these are ground. Now do we have any capacitors here? Not shorted, not shorted. Not shorted. Uh, Usually the bigger ones are shorted, not the smaller ones. Okay, so capacitors are not shorted. Zero ohm resistors are okay as well. Another capacitor. Ooh. 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 We've got two culprits, guys. We've got two culprits. Here are capacitors, and these are shorted. They shouldn't be shorted for any reason. It doesn't matter what's causing their short or if they are shorted. 
that's shorted as well that's okay this diode is fine yeah that, that's fine that's fine this, this diode is okay but this is but this diode is not fine and these capacitors are shorted for some reason as well so you get a bit of a problem here now a line will be of course because that that's the way it is so again i need to tell ca customer that i did attempt the repair on it uh, we see that we've got a problem here we don't know what's causing that we can start to desolder them but it will be additional job on top of what customer was asking for and if customer is not willing to pay extra you know it i will only lose hours and i will lose components because i need to replace these components yes whatever if it's a one capacitor or one diode causing that but usually it's capacitors you know and then once i will remove these yes i can check i've got a second hard drive here which is seagate as well okay here it's a bit, diff bit different one but it's seagate and it's as well two uh, terabytes two terabytes here as you can see that two terabytes so we could see if we've got the same components here. We could then attempt a repair of this hard drive and maybe this hard drive would be back to normal today. But customer need to say yes i want it or no leave me alone yes now how it's looking we've got a one diode here which is actually that could serve as a donor we would have to check it under the microscope and these capacitors are similar to these capacitors i would have to check them out but Probably we would be lucky if we would just replace them, to be true. Uh, so yeah, so we might be lucky and we might have spare parts for this hard drive, yes. But it's not up to us, it's up to the customer always. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, deal with it unless I'm 100% sure. Let's check these capacitors here. If they've got a short as well, that means this hard drive has has ex that's my hard drive that's the same problem what has the other one so let's let's check these capacitors first no they are good good and the diode diode have no go through and second yes that's a good diode and these capacitors are good so i could check with capacitance meters what are the values of these and try to just blindly replace them you know and we can we can then maybe hopefully recover this yes but i need to first speak with a customer what customer thinks and if customer don't want to pay us extra uh, we might do a small project you know we might for the repair you know just for, just for this youtube just for you guys so that you can see how i'm finding faults and how i'm dealing with with issues yes but you, you've got a diagnosis already so we can finish the video it's 28 minutes guys whoever liked this video or will like this video thank you very much because that's really helping me uh, to do more than just you know recording silence for customers so that they can view what they've done with their hardware uh, but you've got a value and thank you for that it's 78 subscribers i'm super excited today because it's 78 subscribers and it's growing guys it's really growing that's exciting and i've seen a video which has 420 <laughs> 22 uh, views in just five days that's you know that's just that, that that just shocking you know that just shocking 
it's unbelievable how in five days I could get with such small YouTube channel 422 views. I don't know, but thank you for those who've done it. And <laughs> I, I can say that I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, not slow down with all the repairs because I've got more repairs, so it will be more videos. <laughs> And I'm trying to create some short videos as well for you, for those who got no time to watch those long videos. But guys, that's how I've learned. That's how I've learned with microelectronics. Uh, I've spent so much time on looking on other people, how they are analyzing during the repair, because it's easy to switch on Northridge fix or uh, Tronic fix or somebody, you, but you don't follow their mental, you know, understanding of how things are you know working at the moment and what what they are thinking whereas i'm describing you every step of the way and that's how i've learned it that's why i do believe that it, you've got more value from this youtube channel than from many other youtube channels there are good youtube channels which you can follow and you see as well like um oh stevie b for instance that's that's a great youtube channel to watch but that's advanced you know that's not for the beginners um, I'll speak to Stevie if he would like to, you know, be promoted on this YouTube. If so, I'm happy to, to do it. Uh, when Phil is recording Decoder, yes, uh, lives as well, because he then thinks and talks how he's dealing with it. But those lives are long as well. So those are giving you the big value. Whereas those, oh, Postman came. Whereas those short videos, you know, it's okay when you understand the problem, but then you can Google as well the problem, yes? Yeah? So you see, and then we will have bro, yes? Book repair online, and now we're building the forum inside it. Well, not yet, but we, we are starting soon. We just need to finish other project. And, you know, once this will be built, yes, you will be able to go see problem and find a solution and then act with that solution straight away. But today in this episode is everything. Thank you very much for being with me and for watching these videos and for liking, yes? Because that's really, really appreciated from myself. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.